Kutuk. By the time the end of the programme comes, you'll be good at this. <laughs> you know. It's not me I'm worried about. <laughs> Prepare to delve into the extraordinary life of Phil Collins, the legendary musician renowned for his dynamic drumming and soulful vocals with Genesis, as well as his chart-topping solo career. With seven Grammy Awards, an Academy Award, and a Golden Globe to his name, Collins has left an indelible mark on the music industry. Despite facing health challenges that have limited his mobility, he remains spirited, recently revamping his home studio near Lake Geneva hinting at the possibility of new music on the horizon. Get ready to dive into the life of this musical anomaly, known for his distinctive voice and emotive performances. But to truly understand Phil's incredible journey, we must go back to where it all began. Early Life Born on January 30, 1951 in Chiswick, London, Philip David Charles Collins was immersed in the performing arts from a young age. His mother, Winifred June Collins, worked as a theatrical agent, while his father, Greville Philip Austin Collins, was an insurance agent. This familial connection to the entertainment industry provided Phil with early exposure to the stage. At the tender age of five, Phil received a toy drum kit, igniting a passion for rhythm that would define his future. He spent countless hours practicing, developing a natural talent for drumming. His parents recognized his burgeoning interest and supported his musical pursuits, providing more advanced drum sets as he grew. Parallel to his musical development, Phil attended the Barbara Speak Stage School, where he honed his acting skills. This dual focus led to his role as the artful Dodger in the West End production of Oliver. His time in theater not only showcased his acting abilities, but also deepened his understanding of performance, stage presence, and audience engagement. Phil's musical influences were diverse. He was particularly inspired by the Beatles, especially their drummer, Ringo Starr. This admiration fueled his dedication to mastering the drums. Additionally, he was influenced by the drummer of the British band, The Action, whose performances he often attended at London's Marquee Club. In his teenage years, Phil formed his first band, The Real Thing, followed by Freehold, with whom he wrote his first song, Lying, Crying, Dying. These early experiences in band settings provided him with practical knowledge of group dynamics and songwriting. However, Phil's early experiences were just the start of a remarkable career. Career and Success Phil Collins' illustrious career is a testament to his versatility and enduring influence in the music industry. His journey began in 1970 when he joined Genesis as their drummer, later stepping up as the lead vocalist in 1975 after Peter Gabriel's departure. Under his leadership, Genesis transitioned from progressive rock to a more mainstream sound, producing hits like Invisible Touch and Land of Confusion. Embarking on a solo career in the 1980s, Collins released his debut album, Face Value, in 1981, featuring the iconic track, In the Air Tonight. This success was followed by albums such as No Jacket Required, 1985, and But Seriously, 1989, solidifying his status as a pop rock powerhouse. Throughout his career, Collins has garnered numerous accolades, including eight Grammy Awards, an Academy Award for Best Original Song for You'll Be In My Heart from Disney's Tarzan, and induction into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2003. Beyond his musical achievements, Collins' cultural impact is profound. His distinctive drumming style and emotive vocals have influenced countless artists. His work in film and television, including contributions to soundtracks and acting roles, further showcases his multifaceted talent. As Phil's career skyrocketed, so did his financial success, leading us to a closer look at his income and net worth. Income and net worth. Phil Collins, the legendary musician, boasts an estimated net worth of $350 million. His wealth stems from a multifaceted career encompassing music sales, live performances, and strategic business ventures. As a solo artist and member of Genesis, Collins has sold over 150 million records worldwide. This impressive feat has generated substantial income through album sales and royalties. 
Touring has been a significant revenue stream for Collins. His Not Dead Yet Tour, 2017-2019, grossed approximately $87.6 million, with the 2019 leg alone generating that amount. In a typical touring year, he reportedly earns between $35-45 million. Beyond music, Collins has invested in real estate, notably purchasing an 11,000-square-foot waterfront mansion in Miami for $33 million in 2015, which he sold for $39 million in 2020. Yet Phil's wealth isn't all about music. It reflects a life filled with unique passions and interests. Lifestyle Insights Phil Collins, the legendary musician, leads a life as dynamic and multifaceted as his music. Beyond the stage, his personal interests and endeavors paint a portrait of a man deeply engaged with the world around him. A lesser-known passion of Collins is his fascination with the Battle of the Alamo. Over the years, he amassed an extensive collection of artifacts related to this historic event, including items like Jim Bowie's knife and Davy Crockett's rifle. In 2014, he generously donated this collection to the state of Texas, ensuring its preservation and public display. In addition to his historical interests, Collins is an avid model railway enthusiast. He has dedicated significant time to building intricate model train sets, a hobby he shares with fellow musicians like Rod Stewart and Eric Clapton. Collins's philanthropic efforts are as noteworthy as his musical achievements. He co-founded the Little Dreams Foundation in 2000, aiming to support young talents in music, sports, and art by providing them with the necessary resources to pursue their dreams. Additionally, he has been a longtime supporter of the Prince's Trust, participating in numerous benefit concerts and events to aid disadvantaged youth in the UK. In recent years, some of the artifacts from Collins's Alamo collection have faced scrutiny regarding their authenticity. Experts have questioned the legitimacy of certain items, leading to debates within historical circles. Despite this, Collins's dedication to preserving history remains evident. Collins has expressed a fondness for traditional British cuisine, particularly enjoying dishes like fish and chips and shepherd's pie. He is a fan of cricket and has attended matches whenever his schedule permits. Known for his understated style, Collins often opts for casual attire, favoring comfort over high fashion. His musical tastes are eclectic, with a particular admiration for Motown and soul artists, which have influenced his own work. Collins enjoys classic British comedies and has a penchant for films from the golden age of Hollywood. He is an avid reader of historical biographies, often delving into the lives of significant figures from the past. While he hasn't publicly stated a favorite color, his stage designs often incorporate shades of blue, suggesting a preference for this hue. Throughout his life, Collins has been a dog lover, having owned several dogs that have been his companions during tours and at home. Among his cherished items is a collection of vintage drum kits, each holding memories from different eras of his career. These instruments serve as tangible reminders of his journey through the music industry. Beyond his career and interests, Phil's personal connections have been a defining part of his life. Relationships and Connections His first marriage was to Andrea Bertarelli in 1975, a romance that began when they were teenagers in a London drama class. They had two children together, Joely, Andrea's daughter from a previous relationship whom Phil adopted, and Simon, born in 1976, who followed in his father's musical footsteps as a drummer and musician. Phil and Andrea divorced in 1980, in 1984, Phil married Jill Tavelman, and together they welcomed their daughter Lily in 1989. Lily, of course, has made a name for herself as an actress and model, widely known for her role in Emily in Paris. Phil and Jill's marriage lasted until 1996. Phil's third marriage was to Oriane Seavey in 1999, and they had two sons together, Nicholas, born in 2001, and Matthew, born in 2004. Nicholas shares his father's love of music and has even played drums on stage with him, while Matthew has pursued a career in football, signing with Austrian club WSG Tyrol in 2024. Though Phil and Oriane divorced in 2008, they reunited in 2016 before separating once more in 2020. 
Between 2006 and 2016, Phil was also in a long-term relationship with American news anchor Dana Tyler. Phil's family also includes two siblings. His brother Clive is a well-known cartoonist, contributing to various publications, while his sister Carol was a skilled ice skater who competed professionally. In his friendships, Phil's bond with former Genesis bandmate Peter Gabriel stands out. Though Gabriel left the band in 1975, their friendship and mutual respect have endured across decades, a true testament to the connection they share. But his relationships aren't the only things close to his heart. Phil has also found comfort in some incredible homes around the world. Real Estate In 2015, Collins acquired a stunning Mediterranean-style mansion in Miami Beach for $33 million. This 12,100-square-foot estate built in the late 1920s boasts seven bedrooms, a 60-foot swimming pool, and 200 feet of waterfront on Biscayne Bay, offering breathtaking views of the Miami skyline. The property also features an interior courtyard with a 6,000-gallon koi pond and a dock accommodating large boats. In 2020, Collins sold this magnificent home for $39 million. Collins has a deep affection for Switzerland, where he resided for several years. He owned a home in Feshi, a picturesque village overlooking Lake Geneva. This residence provided a serene retreat, allowing him to enjoy the tranquil Swiss countryside. He often spent holidays in this picturesque country, enjoying its natural beauty and peaceful ambiance. During the height of his fame, Collins enjoyed a quiet home life in Loxwood, West Sussex. He previously owned a grade two listed farmhouse dating back to the early 18th century. The property was located in a peaceful part of England, surrounded by lakes, country walks, and quintessential British scenery. These properties reflect Collins's appreciation for both luxury and tranquility, offering glimpses into the personal spaces that have provided him solace amidst a bustling career. Of course, every legend needs a way to get around. Let's dive into Phil's choice of cars and transportation. Vehicles and Cars In the realm of automobiles, Collins owned a 1959 Austin A35. This classic British car, known for its compact design and charm, was part of his collection and was later auctioned. During his tours, Collins utilized private jets for transportation. Notably, during the Genesis tour, he chartered private planes to accommodate the demanding schedule. Now let's bring it all together with a look at Phil's life today and what's next for this music icon. Current Lifestyle Phil Collins, the iconic singer-songwriter, has been navigating a period of reflection and rejuvenation. After concluding his final tour with Genesis in March 2022, Collins has been focusing on his health and personal well-being. A spinal injury in 2007 led to nerve damage affecting his ability to perform. Despite these challenges, recent reports indicate that Collins is in top form, having revamped his home studio near Lake Geneva, suggesting the possibility of new music on the horizon. In his personal life, Collins has been enjoying time with his family, particularly his children. His son, Nick Collins, has followed in his father's footsteps, taking on the role of drummer during Genesis's final tour. This collaboration not only highlighted the familial bond, but also introduced a new generation to the Collins musical legacy. While Collins has faced health challenges, his enduring passion for music and family remains evident. Fans eagerly await any new projects that may emerge from his revitalized creative space, hopeful for more contributions from this legendary artist. What did you find most surprising or insightful about this deep dive into the life of Phil Collins? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, we think you'll like one of these that's on your screen now. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.